Hey everyone, welcome back to Saturday Night Zio. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at a little, little Nemo the Dream Master. It's, a, it's definitely a favorite of mine in the NES era. I think all the uh, really good aspects of Capcom came together here. Everything they had learned from uh, working on Mega Man and Disney games. Just a really charming uh, graphical audio gameplay presentation. And as they uh, added a thematic bonus, I'm actually sleep deprived in real life as I record this. Let me pull this on up on my phone, make sure that it's uh, playing all right. Little Nemo the Dream Master. All right, looks all right. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. Dream one, mushroom forest. Oh, he just walked right through me. That's uh that's sad. The game's been playing for five seconds, Nemo's already deceased. Hey little boy, what are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for little boys, but if you got your mind set on staying here, I should tell you a secret. <laughs> Many of the creatures here will give you a ride if you feed them candy. You can ride for as long as you like. Seems like questionable life lessons in this game. Oh, your name is Flip. Oh, good. That's definitely gonna have a significant impact on the way I play this game. But, uh, you know, kidding aside, I, I think this, this level immediately evokes something, you know, quite charming. Capcom definitely knew what they were doing by this point. Now in this game you don't uh, you don't just go to the end of the levels. You gotta go and pick up these keys in most of the levels. Some of them, oh god. Yeah, it kind of fuses. Oh, well I'm screwing up. Fuses elements of a lot of different uh, kind of gameplay styles. You got your straightforward kind of levels. We'll get some shoot 'em up action all in Mega Man later. You got a little exploration. You know, looking for the keys. You have uh, acquiring different suits. You know, you have elements of Mario, something like Mario 3 in there. Heck, there's even a frog suit. And, you know, see, that's an example of that key there where you'll have to get the frog suit or you won't be able to reach high enough. So, see, it demands you kind of learn to play in different ways. Ah. I haven't actually seen the movie enough to be familiar if whether these characters like the mole here are characters from the uh, Little Nemo movie. I do believe there's a little secret one-up action over here on the left. Let me pull this stream up on my phone and make sure it's all going good. See if there's any uh, live chat or anything. Zero viewers. Come on, y'all. Get in the mix. Keep an eye on that. All right, let's get back to it. Yeah, I like how this kind of builds in uh, elements of exploring each level. Can't jump when you're the uh, mole man, but you can jump when you got this lizard. The lizard kind of feels like the signature uh, costume of the game to me to some extent. Don't know why I feel that way though. Oh, oh god, and you can't jump on the bad guys with the lizard. Feeling a little limited here with the lizard actually. Shows uh what I oh god. Feel like I must be missing a key somewhere. Ah. Alright, game is not it's not brutally difficult, but it's not gimme level easy either. You know, it's uh certainly not Battletoads or Ninja Gaiden, but it's harder than Kirby's adventure that I played the other week. Probably I should be a frog. There we go. Oh yes, give me help. Give me, oh God. Jesus, that was pretty intense for a second there. All right, I have five keys. 
I think the door here is six, maybe. If I recall right, let's just kind of journey forward see if we find one missing key somewhere up here. Stupid bees. Actually, bees will come in pretty good use in the, later in the game. Ooh. Ah. All right, let's see if there's a key up here. I feel like there must be, right? Oh, yep. Can I? I can. I think that should do it for level one. I think we might have just about knocked out the mushroom forest here. Oh, God. Yeah, how about that? Not a bad first level. Introduces some uh, concepts, the costumes, a little light platforming challenge, but not too killer. Wake up, Nemo. How many times do I have to call you? Oh, Mom. You're such a nerd. Dream 2. Let's get in this flower garden. Nice music right away. Nice uh, blue-purple look there. Hi, Nemo. This is the Magic Flower Garden. You know, my friend Oompy wants to meet you. He lives under the water. That's, uh... Not the best life lesson either for the kids, is it? Go meet strange oompies under the sea. Just go right down here? I'm not gonna die, am I? I like that, that floating water, that's very dreamlike. Hi Nemo, you're gonna need the lizard's help to get through this next area. Look in the trees. I'll do that, Oompy. I'll do that. Thanks for the advice, you little freaky child predator. Worms. Worms Armageddon. Ooh, gorilla. We got Donkey Kong up in here. Dang! Punching bad guys out. I like that. I like that. Oh! Some of the play control could be a touch on the stiff side. I think that's true for a lot of the uh, Capcom NES games, but I think they built really good engines around any limitations I've been. And still certainly not as limited as uh, Konami and the Castlevania games and whatnot. I mean, really, as far as play control in the NES went, you can't really beat Nintendo themselves. Man, these things are... Oh, man, these things are just awful. They are awful. They are the Ninja Gaiden birds of Little Nemo the Dream Master. Make no mistake about that, my friend. Only one key. I have... I do have some concerns I might be missing something here. Okay. Seems a little dangerous, but okay. Um, I think we better explore a little more here. There we go. Uh, oh darn, here's where I need the lizard, isn't it? Well, I screwed that real good. I screwed that real good, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get past the Fly Fiends anymore. With two health. Oh, God, they're just... They're awful. They truly are. Ah. Oh, man, this game, uh, it, can get a little, it can get a little challenging. It's not just a total gimme. You don't press A to win in this game. All right, let's go get our gorilla. Ah! Uh, ooh! Damn. Can I... Yeah, I'm gonna have to get to the grill with more health than that, that's for sure. Alright, let's just try again from the beginning. Screwed that one up a little bit, but I think we can... I think we can bring it back together. Alright, there we go. And we're going to try to go up and get the health potion. So we can go into the trees with four, four hit points if we can do it. Punch carefully. Punch aggressively. Ah! Oh. Ooh. Takes two hits. There we go. That's more like it. Ooh. Can we go into the tree with... 
Five hit points, now four should be plenty. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. There we go. Ah. All right, I'm just gonna take a hit, I guess. All right, six hit points. There we go. Okay. Ah, shit. Did not mean to do that. Okay. There we go. Don't know why adding the bulk of a giant animal to your body would make you slimmer as to fit through tight spaces, but, uh, you know, that's some video game logic for you there, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Feel like we're on track. Three nice keys, good to go. Bees can't swim, Nemo. They can't do it. It just can't be done. I guess that's accurate to real life, isn't it? Video games teaching about zoology, even as there's much fun to be had. Hey, son, what'd you learn today? I learned bees can't swim. Look at this guy. All right, let's uh, let's try going underwater again. Let's see what we got. I like that though, going in, oh, that was a little prank there, Capcom, you sons of motherfuckers. Okay, one up. I think this game is infinite continues, so I don't know if the one ups truly even have that much value, but whatever. Five keys do it, I, I think we're gonna be looking for a sixth one up here, probably. Yeah, don't like this one bit. Don't like it. Nope, sure don't. I'm uh, just gonna get that. Okay. I feel like we can use this little guy to climb this tree, maybe? Get something up. Yep, get a key right there. No top level in this one. Alright, six keys. Feels good. How are we doing? There we go. And dream two. In the bag. Nemo, what are you doing awake? Yeah, is mom, mama's already why are you out of bed? Get back to your room. I mean, he's in his room. Mom, you, you drunk. Day drunk, mom. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, I, I like these, uh... I like the imagination of these worlds here. Oh, God, don't like that snail. Coming to kick my ass. Ah. Don't mind me jumping around like a fool. Okay. Ride this train. Ride the pink train. I like that. Look at those night sky, those blowing leaves. That's that's great for the NES. Great little effects. This system really did grow a lot through the course of its lifespan from the most simplistic graphics to evoking something a little more, as you can see here. Ah. Ah. Probably shouldn't have gone for that health at all. Yet, I'm gonna make the same mistake twice. No, I'm not. Just keep rolling along here. See, this is a nice that level of difficulty. It's not like Battletoads Insanity, where it's just unmanageable. There we go. Okay. Okay. I think we're rolling here. I have one spare hit. Just one, not two. Oh, God. Okay. Ooh. Yes. All right, what's gonna happen now? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, come on, Nemo. You can do it, you can do it, buddy. Come on. Uh. Uh. Come on, come on, Nemo. You got it, you got it in the bag. Go. Oh. 
Oh, gimme, gimme. Oh, man, that was intense. Don't need that health, thank God. Oh, no. Well, that was a fucking heartbreaker. Fucking heartbreaker, man. Jesus. Okay, I have all those keys now. This time I don't need to think about those keys. All right, let's try again. I find the uh, drops of these planes unpredictable. I can't quite tell if it's based on your proximity or... Shit. Just random. Okay. Okay. That's good. But I'm not gonna let it get me overconfident. Nemo, why you got purple hair, boy? Now this is not like Kirby's Adventure where spikes damage you regularly. This is one hit kill spikes. One tap of a spike, you're out. Okay. Okay, now I don't need to worry about keys. Try to take wide leaps over those planes. Okay, now duck for all you're worth, Nemo. Ugh. Come on, Nemo, my lad. Okay, I think we're kind of on track here. I do like those blowing leaves. That's a gorgeous little effect. More keys? Okay, why not? Only needed six. I gave you a lot of extra. There we go. Dream three in the bag? I think we're rocking and rolling. Nemo, what are you doing? <laughs> Go back to bed. Well, I mean, he's having these terrible dreams where he keeps dying, Mom. Ah, oh, Night C. I like that. Ah, this evokes a lovely mood, doesn't it? Hey, Nemo. If you share your candy with the hermit crabs, they'll take you where you want to go. Okay, sharing. That's not as... It's not as terrible a moral as some others we've seen in this game. Ah, oh, this is just lovely. Look at this. They knew how to evoke such a nice mood with pretty limited resources on this old NES, didn't they? What do we got? Mm, that's not quite where I want to go. I think you were lying to me, weird little creature. Okay. All right, let's just uh, just head on through the sand, see what we find. Eh, one up. I don't get that thrilled about that in this game. <clears throat> what I want are motherfucking keys, my man. Motherfucking keys. Excuse me, kitty. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Because we just got a one-up. I don't know. Should I keep taking this hermit crab, or should I kind of explore without it a little bit? Eh, maybe I'll give it a shot. Nah. 
man, these guys do keep coming. That's okay. Maybe I do need hermit crab. All right, thought I'd give it a look. <clears throat> Check things out. Back down to this. Ah, uh, God, I'm gonna die again. Give me a little health upgrade here, game. Alright, we gotta play that a little cleaner. Oh, okay, how about that? Ah. These these little guppies are killer, man. They just keep coming keep coming. Okay, there we go. That's nice. A little more water control here. Pardon my yawning. I'm quite sleep deprived. Okay, this is probably a lot easier with this fish than it would be without. There we go. Please tell me there's at least a... Ah, yes. Sweet key. Key is bliss in the world of Little Nemo. Nothing you'd rather find. Okay. Obviously, we can see a path that we are uh, missing here. Got to loop back around. That's all right. Little light exploration. Not exactly, you know, Super Metroid or Symphony of the Night, but it's a little something kind of building on the uh, traditional NES level format. I like that. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, there we go. Looks like we're on track. Oh god, oh man. That was a little intense for a second there. I think I just saw something gold. Something glittering. Promise of salvation. There we go. Back up again. Whoa. It's a little scary. Oh. Jesus. That was awful. Well, try again. But first, you don't succeed. Jesus. First, you don't succeed, get run into by a flying yellow fish. Ah. Jesus. Man, the swimming controls are not great. You're constantly pushed uh, hard towards the surface. You really have to do some twitch reflexes. And I hope I'm not doing all this without a key I need, by the by. Okay. Let's explore low. And let's get a health potion. Duh, these guppies are the most killer enemies I've found in this game so far. Eey. All right, please give me five keys. Yes, five keys to exit. There we go. Dream four in the bag, my friends. Dream four in the bag. What's gotten into you? Why can't you stay in bed? Well, well mom, he's in bed. Give the kid a break. Didn't drift off right away. It's not his fault. Oh, now we're going to Nemo's house. We're doing like a little Land of the Giants type thing, if I recall right. Nemo, I think we're in your house. Oh, okay. That was a little brisk message there, to the point. Not wasting a lot of extra breath. Now this level, if I recall, is uh, very much kind of the really wide open. Here we're really getting into some, uh, you know, borderline Metroid influences. It's very 
It's tall, it's wide, there's multiple paths. I think I remember it confusing me pretty good as a kid, actually. But I think we'll work our way through it. Okay, first off, I did see a... Damn, I did see a key up here. I wonder if you lose all keys if you run out of lives. That is a risk. I will admit the frog jumping sound effect can get a hint annoying after a while. Guilty as charged, and I do apologize. I'm gonna need a bee to get up there. A bee in my bonnet. Maybe. Oh, shit. Fuck you, turtle. Okay, well, might as well use this. Oh, no, I shouldn't have got that. Oh well, whatever. What's done is done. <coughs> Pardon me. Look at all these assholes. Oh, jeez, look at this motherfucker. Uh, was I supposed to go into that? Still having something I lost, maybe? Didn't feel like that, didn't feel like that went quite right. again. Do we want to keep the uh, frog, I guess, so we can jump on our uh, monkey friend's heads? Or can we get that bee, maybe? Okay, we'll try coming in from the right. Okay, that, that was a little more successful. Okay, I think we're doing all right now. Um, not, uh, didn't need that at the moment, now did I? A little stupid. Um, I'll try going back to normal, I guess. Okay, lizard. Ah! He smiles friendlily, but he hits you, hurts you all the same. Oh god, okay. This is getting all screwed up, at least I can go get the goddamn one up in the key. Shit. Oh, B. Shit. Yeah, I like the way these kind of—it's light puzzle. It's a light puzzle, but I like the way it all interconnects. It's pretty fun. Got to get the frog, to get the lizard, to get the bee. It's—it's it's a nice little sequence. Okay. There's like a health. Somewhere I want it. There we go. Okay. I think we're we're grooving now. Excellent. Okay. And there's a third yes, there we go. There we go. I think things are kinda looking up now. We're figuring out this level one step at a time. I'm poking over it. Oh, yes. Yes, I feel like things are really coming together. I got a good feeling about all this. Okay, moving on to the next critter. Not a very fast walker, though. I worry a little about these. Ah. 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 Gee, I had a. Saw that one coming from a distance.
Yeah, I don't like this as much as the B, that's a for goddamn sure. Nice to have kind of a straightforward attack, though, I guess. Has a nice range to it, so that's something. Okay, thank god. Did not like walking around with two hit points. Shit. Speak of the goddamn knock on wood devil. <laughs> oh shit, did I need to go up there with the fucking bee? I have a bad feeling about this. Did I just screw myself? Guess I'm gonna try to get the B again and take it up there. Shit. All right, let's run through this sequence. I think I might have my way situation vis-a-vis -vis, uh, finishing this level in good time. But we'll just keep trucking away. Yeah, I feel like I better. Oh, or I could have gone down there and gotten another bee. Well, whatever. It's all too late now. Water under the frog. Go grab our lizard. Don't hit me, lizard. Yeah, that's right. I'm throwing candy right into your tail. That's how good the candy is. You can eat it through your god dang tail. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah. Now we're playing with B power. We're on the B list. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Even with the B, it's still a little bit intense. Bad guys flying at you from every goddamn which way, man. Okie dokie. Alright. Now we'll try going in this first hole. See if there's a key that we just might have missed. Do better than that. Try taking off from here. There we go. <coughs> I had a feeling that was the right move. All right. Now let's go get our dumb little mouse just so we can use his dumb little hammer. Leave that health potion, of course. This music is a little shrill compared to some of the other in the game. Uh, not, not necessarily my favorite. I shall admit it. Okay. Think I can uh, drop off the B now, right? I get. Okay, yeah, all good. Okay, looks like I'm making it through with three hit points. Maybe four if I can get to that potion in a second. Okay, feeling pretty all right. Four hit points, there we go. Oh, turtles have two hit points. Ooh, bats have one. Oh God. Jesus.
Okay, now I just gotta take this fucking guy on the right here out. Damn monkey! Okay. Seven keys. That has to do it, right? There can't be eight. This hit detect- okay, this hit detection is a little- little infuriating. I forget- I love you, Capcom. I, I forgive you, but little criticism for its due. Nothing unfair. Okay. Okay, what do we got? I'm just going for it. I don't want to risk getting hit by anything. Seven keys. Whew. Seven kingdoms. Again, what does it take to get you to just sleep? I don't know, should try fucking Zequel, Mom? Take it easy, Cloud Ruins. Oh, that, that's pretty, uh, that's a beautiful name. Uh, the sky's a little bit of an ugly color, but I like the music, I like the vibe. I've heard there's a ruined city in the clouds. Thanks, buddy. Let's just go check this shit out with our one extra life. <laughs> Doesn't bode super well, but okay. Oh. Ugh. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Alright, got B, got health. A little bit of a small bell tower there, but that's alright, that's alright. Why would I ever take the frog instead of the... That frog is a trick. That's there to ruin your game. <laughs> Dick move, Capcom. Whew. Jeez, that, that is a fast-scrolling screen. Jeez, Capcom, what are you doing to me, man? God damn. That screen was like... Fucking rocket taken off, man. Oh, did I make it anyway? <laughs> How about that? Oh, didn't need that. Now I am missing a B. I, can I still beat the game? Okay, now we will take the frog. Okay, now we'll take the lizard. We've got a little tight space to get through, maybe? That looks... that looks spiky. Don't want to mess with that. Okay. Okay, we did need the lizard. Good, good, good. There we go. Oh, this is a fun idea. Look at this. Ah! Oh, jeez. Ah! Jeez. This is tense, but fun at the same time. Oh, wrong way. Why did I think it'd go left in any NES side-scroller? And keys, 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 keys. Yes, please. All right. Dream six, done and dusted. He's up again. Mom's gonna lose her shit. Why do me, do everyone else's kids give them this much trouble? Well, yeah, I mean, is it, he's not like, it's not like doing heroin, mom. He's not knocking up banks. Come on, man. It's just a little, uh, Little sleep issues, little little sleep apnea going on. I think this is actually based in something in the movie, if I recall right. I've really only, it's funny, I've played this game about 10 million times. Only uh, seen the Little Nemo movie, I think, about twice. I like it, I like it. It's not bad by any means, just more into the game, personally. Definitely a childhood favorite. Dumb frogs, ah.
Got it. Got chairs and tables on the ceilings. That's a little, little amusing, isn't it? A little amusing. I won't say no to a goddamn bee over a frog. And do I want that mouse right away? Well, there we go. There's there's a little something. Let me take another look downstairs first, just to be safe. Um. Shit. <clears throat> Same place. Okay. Fucking dandelion motherfuckers. Oh, I want that health. I want that health. Please give me the health. Give me. Oh. That's good. It is good. Oh, thank God the plates don't go through the wall. Yeah, I think I, if I have a chance to ditch this slow moving mouse, I'm gonna. Even if he does have a mallet. Not the frog is oh B. Okay. Slide under here. Slide real smooth now. There we go. Yeah, I don't even care because I got health, motherfucker. Shit. Okay, whatever. Just keep moving forward. Just like Rocky Balbo would tell you to do. Don't give up on your dreams, little Nemo. <laughs> I apologize. I fucked that. I fucked that real good, but I see a one up. We'll go again. Give it a shot. Here we go. Perfection. Four lives. I think we're doing pretty okay for this for uh, near the end of the game level. And a key. Ah, oh, yeah. I like everything I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm walking out of this room pleased. That was, whew, can't believe that worked. Alright, do you have a B? Seven, oh, I see. <clears throat> there we go. Dream 7, knocked out of the park. Oh, no waking up, uh, mom. Welcome to Slumberland, Nemo, says Camille. I'm Princess Camille. I can see that. Pleased to meet you. How come you wanted to meet me? It made me go through seven terrible dreams of horror first. The truth is my father, King Morpheus. Morpheus was kidnapped. Kidnapped 1P by the King of Nightmare Land. Whoa. Ugly. What's Nightmare Land? Yeah, Camille. Not speaking my language. It's land of bad dreams. Shit. Nightmare King is plotting to take take back the night, take over all of Slumberland and destroy nice dreams forever. Oh no, all dreams will now be at ending up at school naked or waking up or realizing uh, you forgot to go to class all semester. Please help father defeat the nightmare. Uh, I don't think I can. I'm just a kid. 
I can't fight the Nightmare King. Close your mouth, Nemo. This Morning Star. We call him more of a magic wand, but okay. We'll destroy the Nightmare King and his men. Well, that's a little, a little graphic violence there. I don't know how to use a Morning Star. Motherfucker, who do you think you are, Camille? Don't worry. This is the land of dreams. I'll just cast a spell on it. Why don't you just cast a spell on the Nightmare King if it's that simple for you, woman? Jeez. Whoa! That is a big, that is a big magic wand. It's the size of him. That thing must weigh a ton. You're gonna attack or give away candies. You won't need keys anymore either. All right, now we're about to enter more of a Mega Man phase of the game, more of a shoot 'em up. Please, probably no Nightmare Land. Defeat the, uh, defeat the Nightmare King. Please, please, please. Okay, I promise. Get ready to hear this music pretty much the rest of the game. Ah, do I even need this goddamn lizard, or am I just making things harder on myself? Should have kept my fucking little lizard friend, huh? God damn. Alright, back across. This doesn't bode fucking well. Shit. Alright. You live and you learn. Let's try that again. Doesn't matter if I take a couple hits. We got a full health refill in the tree. Not that I should take a million hits or anything. Okay. Um, oh God, Christ, shit. Graze the side of a spike, it's like you've been shot in the fucking head with a sniper rifle. Now we're just basically two two lives, and at the uh, beginning of World 8, now we're just kind of at the equilibrium of where we'll end up if we get a game over anytime in here. Which you might, two lives isn't a lot, man. Alright, let's try this again. That's more like it, isn't it? Penguin. I remember getting pretty badly stuck on this when I was a kid, but it seems fairly manageable. I don't know if it's better to go for a few um, more lightly charged hits or one mega hit. Shit. Gotta be more careful, man. Give me a big hit. Shit, shit, shit.
Give me a big hit. Oh, thank God. Little Nemo, slaughter of rare birds. Look at this jerk. Well, at least there's a one up. Oh, God, which I might need in two seconds. If I keep screwing up like that. Jesus. Ooh, holy shit. See a lizard? I'm gonna assume I need it. Holy shit! Jesus. Does the one-up come back, maybe? No. Just, just great, my man, just great. What are you, what are you doing to yourself? Idiot. Moron, stupidest motherfucker who ever lived. Alright, let's try this with one health point yet again. Jeez, this room is hard. My lives dwindle as do my spirits. Yeah, it's just that it's that little hint of fire. If that hint of fire coming out didn't hurt you, then it would be easy to manage your way around here. But the fact that even that first tiny little ember hits you as surely as the full flamethrower makes this room hard as all hell, man. Shit. Say hello, cat. And say goodbye. I'm focusing in on something hard here. Oh god, and the fly fiends. Jeez Louise. Man, they throw it all at you at once here, don't they? Excuse me, kitty. Are you supposed to get this? I mean, it sure looks like it. Can't imagine why else you'd... Can you get to it later or something? Maybe from there? I just can't seem to get on there. Shit. I gotta see what else is here. This room is absolutely killer, just brutal, utterly brutal. Good to doing shitty in split second there. Shit. 
shit. Alright, where is this going to send me now that I got a game over? Alright. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. We'll give it one more shot, but if not, then might have to call it for the night. I could do a five-hour stream of, you know, going at this level over and over and over, but I do have work in the morning. <laughs> We'll give it to one more, uh, one more potential game over, and I'm gonna have to call it. Those purple uh, spires in the background, those are a little freaky. I wonder how they came up with that. Try this again. Shouldn't say try it because I actually did pull it off pretty uh, successfully last time. Oh god, but I didn't get distracted like I just did. What an idiot. Take that. Focus on bubbles first, then baby penguins. It's not a sentence that has uh, applicability anywhere else in the world, except for this game. Alright, I'm feeling good about this fight. Not feeling too good about the next uh, room necessarily, but this fight, I think it, I think we'll win. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's go get our one up. This room is brutal, man. Just brutal. It's those fly fiends, man. If you were to take that factor out, it would be just regular hard. But those, these little things, they truly just, they kick the difficulty up to something extraordinary. Shit. Man, that has a wide hitbox. God damn. <sighs> All right. I don't know about this. Oh shit, look how slow you gotta... I, I just don't know. Man, this, this is harder than everything else in the game combined up to this point. I'm getting brutalized by this room. This room is the fucking Nightmare King, man. Okay.
Oh, God, no. Alright, I have one spare hit. Let's make it fucking count. Come on. They were in a sadistic mood when they were doing the old game designing this day. No health upgrades to be found. There was just like a a medicine box or something over here. Tiniest little uh, s sprout of flame from the ground and it's all over. Patience, patience is the name of the game sometimes. No one to hold it back a second. Ah, but those <laughs> damn dandelions. Shit! Yes! That was hard. God damn, Nemo. And I only have one spare life now, so I can't start being all willy nilly at this point. That's for fucking sure. Man, this is not a game of like even difficulty across the uh, the spectrum. This difficulty just skyrockets in this last world, truly skyrockets. Gonna send me back again. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> me and Chiori here might have to call that a night then, a gaming. Now if I had a little more free time in the morning, I could probably plug away this for three or four hours and figure it out, but you know, we'll call that a nice little nice little trip into dreamland with Nemo for tonight. Yeah, future uh, Saturday Night Zio, maybe I'll come back and take a, another shot at this, but let's try a few, uh, a few other games in the meantime. Say hello, Shioi. Well... That was a good uh, little seven level run and <laughs> aborted for now because god damn does the difficulty pick up. But you know, despite that great, great, great game, uh, 
beaten it before. Uh, probably won't tonight, but it's all good. But yeah, go ahead and sign on off for now, and I'll be back next Saturday for Saturday Night Zio Episode 3. Peace out, everyone.